Now check this out. I'm going to open up my macro toolbar here. I'm going to click VST to so drop down my folder and then add Serum. Boom. Super easy. If you've been following this channel for any amount of time, then you know that my favorite Studio One feature is the macro ecosystem. And as a matter of fact, I think this is the feature that they do the best when it comes to any other DAW. Now, if you're unfamiliar with macros, they are basically an aggregate or a combination of smaller tasks that you string together to create one bigger task that you can activate from either a keyboard shortcut or a button click on the Studio One interface. The only thing about macros is that they do have a bit of a steep learning curve, and especially if you're just starting out. But ultimately what they mean is that even though we might not have certain native Studio One functions, you can still do a lot and add a lot of those back in if you know how to build a macro for it. So then what I wanna do today is show you how to create a very simple but effective macro that will allow you to add your favorite virtual instruments to your session in a faster way and hopefully get you to make more music. Okay, so here is a regular way of adding a virtual instrument to Studio One. First, go ahead and open up the browser by clicking the button on the bottom right of the screen and then head over to the Instruments tab. Now from here, you can sort them by a bunch of different ways, including flat, which I believe is just alphabetically, by folder, by type, and by vendor, which happens to be my favorite because this just makes it easy to identify what a company makes what VST. Now from here, you can go ahead and identify the VST you want to bring over and then simply drag it over to your session. Not too hard. Now this could even be made faster if you right click on a virtual instrument and hit favorite because then all of those VSTs will be listed under your favorites folder here. Now that is not too hard, but now let me show you how to do this even faster with a macro. Okay, so for this, I'm gonna close the browser because we don't even need it. And I'm gonna get rid of the serum. Now check this out. I'm gonna open up my macro toolbar here. I'm gonna click VST to so drop down my folder and then add serum. Boom, super easy. The best part is that you can customize this macro to use with your favorite virtual instrument. So for example, let's say that you wanted to bring in, I don't know, an Omnisphere, right? You can do that as well. What about something native like a sample one? It also works with that too. But okay, now that you know how this works, let me show you how to build one for yourself. So to create this macro, the first thing you wanna do is go over to your menu on the top left here, hit Studio One, and then go over to Macros, where is it? Macro Organizer, right here. Once you get this pop-up window, I want you to click on the new button on the right so that we can start creating this macro. And if you notice, the moment you click that button, you're gonna get this other window, which is divided into two. And basically on the left-hand side, we're going to have all the commands that are available to us that Personas has provided to us to create our macros. And on the right-hand side is where you can start to string them together to create the task that you want. In any case, once you're here, head over to the left-hand side and click on the search bar. And the first command that I want you to look for is going to be one called add instrument track. Once you find that command, click on it if you haven't already, and then hit the add button to add it to our right-hand side. Now from here, what I want you to do is I want you to think of one virtual instrument, maybe one of your favorites, that you want to create this macro for. And let's say, for example, I'm gonna do Analog Lab by Arturia. From there, go ahead and double click on this command on the right hand side, and then type in the name of that virtual instrument. So for me, it's going to be Analog Lab, and then I'm gonna hit OK. All right, so what this first command is going to do is basically add an empty MIDI track to your session, and then name it whatever you typed in this field, which would usually be the name of your virtual instrument. Now, obviously this is not enough because we don't need an empty MIDI track. We need one with our virtual instruments. So with the words that you already typed up top here, you should also see another command that is labeled add instrument to selected tracks. Click on this one and then also add it to the right. Now this new command should be under the first one that we created in the first step. And it's going to be the one that's going to allow us to add the virtual instrument to our empty MIDI track. So to do that, what you wanna do is double click on that second command. And once you get this pop-up window, drop down the first menu and either look for or search for the virtual instrument that you are looking for. So in my case, that would be Analog Lab. I'm gonna click on it and then hit OK. All right, last but not least here, what I want you to do is clear out your search bar on the left and we need to add one more command. And this one is going to be called Show Instrument Editor, which is going to be under the console setting. So click on this and then hit Add. Now, obviously the very last thing you might wanna do here is give this a name and I would call it something like Add Analog Lab or you know whatever VST you chose. You can decide to put it, put this into a group 
Now I have mine in a group called Ivan Macros. So I'm going to do that. I can't type today. And then you can add a little bit of a description if you want to, but it's not necessary. But in any case, once you're here, go ahead and hit OK and you are done. Now, as I mentioned in the beginning, there are basically two ways to use macros in Studio One. You can either tie it to a keyboard shortcut on your keyboard or you can create a button for it, which you can then use in one of your macro toolbars, and both are really effective. I'm gonna show you how to use both, but before I do that, really quickly, friend, if you're new to Studio One and you want to learn how to use this software, then I am happy to share that I have a free Studio One Basics workshop. The workshop is about 30 minutes or so, and it walks you through all of the basics of how to use the software, including adding your interface, your MIDI controller, and of course, some recording. So again, if you are new, then this workshop is completely free, and you can access it by clicking the first link down below. But all right, let's start with the keyboard shortcut. So if you're still under the macro organizer window here, then it is super easy. All you basically have to do is search for that macro, add analog lab, there it is. And then I'm going to click on it and hit shortcut. Now, this is going to take me to the keyboard shortcuts menu within Studio One and even pull up that macro. But if you had exited out of all of that, then no worries. All you basically have to do is go over to Studio One, hit keyboard shortcuts. And then again, from here, just type in your macro name. So add analog lab. There it is. Once you find your macro, it is as simple as entering a keyboard shortcut on the right hand side. And this could be whatever you want. So I'm just going to do, let's say, command J. And if it is, if that keyboard shortcut is attached to something else, like for example, let me do this here for you. Let me do command A. It's going to tell you here at the bottom, right? This is already something else. So maybe pick something different. So I'm going to pick again, command J and then hit assign, apply, and then OK. So then now if I were to click command plus J, I should get exactly what I wanted. Now that is a keyboard shortcut way of doing it, but of course you also have macro buttons for your macro toolbars. So to do that, go ahead and open up the macro toolbar section here by clicking on this button. I really don't even know what this is, like a floppy disk, a, a robot? <laughs> I'm not quite sure, but it's to the right of the Q button at the very top. And once you do that, if you go over all the way to the left, you're going to see this drop down menu and you're going to see a bunch of different macro pages that Personas has provided for you. And as you can see, we have a bunch for global, you know, settings and tasks, audio editing, music editing. And I definitely encourage you to experiment on your own time. But for this demo, go ahead and right click on that and then do new page. Once you get to this area, click anywhere here on this empty space and select new group. Now, basically a group holds buttons or macros. And you can name this group whatever you want, or you can leave it blank. But if you click or right click rather right under that, you can go ahead and do new button. Once you have the new button, if you right click on the new button, go over to assign and then assign command. It's going to bring up this commands menu. And all you have to do is basically search for that macro we just created. So add analog lab. There it is. Hit OK. And as you can see, we have now created a button for this. So if I were to click it, it's going to create another instance of Analog Lab and pull it up for me in my session. So there you have it, friend. That is how you create a simple macro to speed up your virtual instrument process in Studio One. In any case, thank you so much for tuning in. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you want to see another Studio One video, then you can click right over here.